Hey friends, the A series of the Samsung Galaxy smartphones is incredibly popular. Samsung released two new models, namely the Galaxy A35 and the Galaxy A55, which means there are two more devices to choose from in the mid-range. You can now find out what distinguishes these two devices from each other and which one is right for you. As part of a lounge event, Samsung presented two new A-series devices at their own small trade fair. The word of Samsung at the end of February, the A35 and the A55 share the same design. On the outside, like the Galaxy S-series, both now have an almost completely flat frame which is made of plastic on the A35 and stainless steel on the A55. That's really the only way you can tell the two devices apart from the outside. The metal frame of the A55 is a little brushed and has a small visible antenna stripe on the side, otherwise both devices have a glass back made of Corning Gorilla glass, and both have the Samsung design for the camera modules. On the back, the lenses come directly from the device. Both also have a 5000 mAh battery and a 6.6 .6 in Full HD plus Super AMOLED display with a refresh rate of 120 Hz. That is also a solid 1000 nits peak brightness. This means that you can read the display very well outside in sunny weather, but this might be a little more difficult in direct sunlight, even the colors are completely identical on both models, so what is the difference between the A35 and the A55? That explains the price difference because the A35 costs $369 in the smaller storage variant with 128 GB and the A55 with 128 GB costs $489. In my opinion, there are two main differences that can actually matter. On the one hand, there is the processor. The cheaper A35 has the Exynos 1318 installed, which is also installed in last year's A54. The A55, on the other hand, uses the new Exynos 1480, which means you can expect more performance from the A55. For example, you play games on your smartphone or want to edit photos and videos with the basic version with 128 GB, you only have 6 GB of RAM in the A35 instead of the 8 GB RAM in the A55. However, I will then determine how big the difference in performance will actually be by testing the devices. Of course, there is also a review on this channel. You can go and check that out. The second difference between the two devices is the camera, which is only a slight difference with the A55. You have the useful dual recording function on board, where you can film with the front and main cameras at the same time, which is a cool feature for content creators. Both devices have a 15 megapixel main camera and a 5 megapixel macro camera, and both devices can now record videos in Super HDR with 12 bits and over 68 million colors, which are values that we know from the premium range, but the A35 only has 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, while the A55 has a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. Samsung itself says that the A55 is better camera and performance make it more suitable for those who want to create and add in content for social media such as photos and videos. The A35 and the A55 are protected against dust and water according to IP67 and receive 4 years of OS updates and 5 years of security updates. Unfortunately, not seven years like in the premium range, but of course there has to be something that sets it apart as premium. In my first impression, I think both devices are definitely of very high quality, and in the end they make more of a premium impression than a mid-range. Hope you like the comparison of the Galaxy A35 and A55. If so, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to this channel and please let me know in the comments whether you prefer the A35 or the A55. Friends, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye and see you next time.